Hi, we're here with Reed Kessler, who just won the Atco Power Queen Elizabeth II Cup with Silana. Reed, tell me your initial reaction when you landed from the last jump and knew you were double clear. Well, I wasn't sure if I was actually clear because I really had a hard rub at the last jump. Um, I was trying to hold her off the front rail and it started to get a little long and scopy after the two hard rounds of jumping and uh, the crowd gasped, but it ended up staying up. I had my eyes glued to the uh, scoreboard. So when I realized I was clear, I was thrilled. And Silana, in the first round, you know, there were 14 jumps or numbered obstacles on the course. She looked like she handled it so easily. How did she feel? She was super. As soon as I saw the course this morning, I made sure when I flattered her that I had her very adjustable. So she came right back up to the water for the seven, and she handled the steady seven and five very well on the last line. Um, she's becoming a pretty seasoned horse now with jumping these big tracks, and she loves Spruce Meadows. And where does this win rank um, in your career so far? This is for sure the biggest one in my career. Uh, I've knocked on the door a couple times being second in five stars, but this is my first five star win, so I'm thrilled. And this is a class that's a lot of history. I've watched it every year. I've come here as a kid, so I'm thrilled to have my name on the trophy. And Connor Swale um, came after you. He was just over the time allowed. Were you watching his trip? I did watch him go. I thought he looked a hair slow. I mean, I watched him and he had a his horse didn't jump the triple fantastic, and so he started to cool it down to try and bring it home clean. Um, Connor used to actually train me as a kid at Heritage, so I know him quite well. Um, we were both happy for each other. And um, BZ Madden was third, and it really was a class full of top horses and riders. Um, can you talk a little bit about what it means to you to win? It means everything. Like I said, I've been second several times, so I can't complain. My horses were j jumping great. I was riding consistently, but um, everybody wants to win. I've been competitive since I was a little kid, and uh, it felt great to nail it down today. And again, it's the biggest win of my career. Um, so I'm so thankful to my trainers, my owners, all my grooms, my manager, Stacy. Um, I'm thrilled. And Spruce Meadows is known for their... Um presentations and the victory gallops and Silana looks like she takes it all in stride. Um, what's her feeling on it? Well, sometimes she's not as good when she's not in first. <laughs> when she's leading the pack, she's quite happy. I think the rest of us are too. Um, she's, again, she's done it a few times now, so she's pretty seasoned at it, but some of the other ones I do not bring in the ring, like Micah, does not get to do prize givings. Yeah. Um, she's a pro, so is pretty good. Goose can get a little excited, but it's good. <laughs> and what does Silana, Silana do from here? Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do next week. I'm going to do the Grand Prix on her, but I don't know if I'll do any other classes. Okay. And then she heads over to Europe, and we're on the team for Hickstead and Dublin. And so we'll spend the rest of the year in Europe, hopefully be on the team for Barcelona. And um, I'll use her there, here and there. And Wolf's been jumping great, so I'm hoping to move him up and do some Grand Prix with him. Great. Well, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you.